Well guys, looks like I got something in the trap. It's a squirrel. He's going absolutely insane. I'm gonna relocate him. That way he doesn't eat all the corn out of my deer feeder. There it is over there. Got a mineral block. If you want to see any deer videos this coming hunting season, let me know. I'll definitely post them. I'll be back with you whenever I'm at the relocation spot for the squirrel. About to go for a ride. The Indian corn is what he come in there after. These traps are great. You can buy them at Tractor Supply or any feed store usually sells, you know, a type of trap like this. And I'll show you how they work whenever I get him out of there. gone well guys I am back and I'm about to reset this trap and show you kind of how they work I've got one over here with my feeder did have one over there didn't have anything in it but I actually have to repair it got a deer camera on that tree mineral block some point peanuts soybeans corn protein pellets oh, protein pellets are pretty much gone and there's a chestnut tree right there that I parked by. They really, really like chestnuts, actually, if you didn't know that. But anyway, there's two separate types of traps. This trap right here is very, very easy to set. You set this little thing right up under that. And basically, whenever this pushes down, something comes in here, it just steps on that, it releases like a fulcrum back this way. Kind of hard to do with one hand but then you just kind of bring that up and this right here move that under it catches it's set again really it is that easy put it against a fence line you know they're gonna find it they're gonna want it walk around it until they get in it with my dog creed what's up buddy come here buddy <laughs> yeah i've got three blue hillers let me know if you want to see the rest and yes, that was a Rocky reference, Creed. This one is a little bit more difficult, and if you're ever having issues, they usually have something right here that you can hang right here. But this little thing right here is big enough for this to go into. Let me see if I can get it on video. Okay, so take both of them, go into each other. This has to pick up under that and it spins over here. And the bottom picks up into it, which brings the flap up, being ready to go. I'll throw the pieces of corn back there. And it is 